Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi 11T and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this device. So obviously you can see that the phone that I have right here is locked and to unlock it I would need to normally provide a pattern that was previously set or if I tap right here I could use a Google account instead. And obviously you can also see this little lock icon right here that shows you that the device is locked. So to begin the bypass what we're going to do is Let's see if I can do it from here. Nope, it looks like I can do it from here. So I'm going to back out to the Wi-Fi connection right here. I'm going to select at the bottom Add Network and then type in YouTube.com in here. Like so. And I'm going to select it. And this actually gives you this option right here with the chain link. Once you click on it, it opens up YouTube. So from here, tap on the account, then go to help and feedback. And then in the describe your issue, you want to search for delete or disable. Disable apps on Android, so as you can see it's right at the top. Comes up as a suggested when you start typing it in. And in here, you want to select the first option uh, or first step right here, tap to go to application settings. And obviously this takes you to the apps right here. So we're gonna start off by looking for see uh, show system and then you're looking for Android setup. So as you can see there is what one? Nope, oh, there's two different ones. As you can see, one here and one here. So let's start off with the first one. Select disable, disable app, force stop, and then do the same thing for the other setup. It's disabled already, so I'm going to just force stop it and go back. So once you have disabled these two applications, we're now going to go down to, I believe it's, let's see, Google Play Services. There we go, Google Play Services. And same thing, you want to disable, disable up, force stop, and OK. And lastly, we're now gonna open up settings. So we're gonna go back and scroll even further down. Now, as you can see, there's two different ones. So we're looking for this one. Uh, you can define it by the icon. You can see this one looks a little bit different than this one. And it's the first one or first settings that you come up across. So you're gonna click on it and then select open. And obviously this opens up settings. So from here, we're going to go into additional settings. We're going to go into accessibility, accessibility mini, and you want to toggle it on. There we go. And from here, I'm going to back out. And we're backing out all the way. to here. So once you have your Wi-Fi connection page again, you want to simply progress further. And this will now start basically getting your phone ready, whatever, and it's going to fail at doing whatever it's doing. As you can see, it's kind of now glitching out. As you can see it kind of like tries to, try, tries to show you something and then it just keeps checking for updates. So that is how it's supposed to look like. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to tap on this accessibility menu right here. You're going to then select Google Assistant. This will show up settings for a brief moment. And you want to click on it and then you will re-enable the Google Play services, which this will open. So uh, this will probably take you a couple of tries. So if you can't get it by the first try, it's completely fine. Just keep repeating it till you get it. There we go. As you can see, it took me about like, what, six, seven tries or so uh, to get it. Uh, this page does disappear if you don't enable it in time. Uh, once you enable it, it will stay open, which is fine. So once you have enabled this, you want to then go back. And as you can see, it now went a step further, even though we didn't verify anything. 
So what you want to do right now is simply go through the setup of your device uh, in any kind of way. It doesn't really ma matter what you set up right now. We still need to factory reset it, so just try to finish it up as quick as you can. Okay, so once you have access to your home screen, you want to now open up settings. And from settings, go into about phone, scroll down, select factory reset, and then select erase all data, factory reset. And this gives me some kind of pop up. What is this? Uh, enter your password, but for what? Well, if for some reason you're getting blacked like I am, uh, there is a different way of doing it as well. I'm not exactly sure what is this asking for, which kind of password. It looks like the Xiaomi account, actually. Uh, this is all right. That's, uh, that's what it is. It's just a Xiaomi account. Uh, there is no way of removing Xiaomi account. There is only a way to remove Google account. Um, so we bypassed the Google account, but because I did also log into my Xiaomi account, this is uh, what you're seeing right now. But if you never logged into your Xiaomi account, uh, then you won't see this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But anyway, uh, like I mentioned before, for the Google, strictly the Google bypass section, uh, assuming you didn't have any kind of Xiaomi, you will select erase all data, and it will give you a kind of like the two pages of uh, just letting you know that this removes everything and you blocked by a 10 second timer on each page. So you have next and then you have 10 seconds for okay. And once you press that, it will begin the process. Now, honestly, once you begin the factory reset, there is nothing extra that you need to do. It will be automatic and it will go through all the way. Once it's finished, you'll be then in the setup screen at which point you can set up your device however you like. Now, because I am logged into Xiaomi account, I can't really go through it right now, but that is also, I also wouldn't be able to show you any kind of additional information there. Like I said, it's quite self-explanatory from there. So anyway, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.